Hello everyone and welcome to your channel of Cook and Bake with Samir. Uh, today I'm going to make a special Lebanese Beiruti uh, soup that we used to have a lot when we were uh, kids, especially in the winter times. And this is using brown lentils. Actually, what reminded me of this is uh, uh, one of my friends was asking for a recipe using the brown lentils, but it wasn't related to the soup. But due to popular demand, the recipe got changed from dardra on jedra to this, to the lentil soup. So what I have, I'm doing, by the way, this video both Arabic and English. Uh, I already put half the quantity in the water. I just started it because I'm doing the both videos. So I'm trying to show both. All right, uh, follow me over here, please. Uh, camera crew. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh. As I mentioned, I just put uh, some, some of the, the other half. I have two cups of, of the brown lentil that's already washed. I also have here 12 cups of boiling water. We're going to let it boil for a half hour. I'm going to cover it, let it start boiling, cover it. I'm not adding any of the salt or the cumin. And... Uh, I will continue in a minute. Uh, we'll show you what we're going to be doing next. The lentils have been uh, cooking for a half hour and I put them on medium low by the way when uh, after I uh, left them in here for the half hour covered. Look how beautiful the lentils are. Uh, I have this little contraption here. It's an old-fashioned hand uh, Blender, uh, not a mission. It's not like a mission, not a blender, but it's actually like a purifier or pureeing. It makes it puree. So I already started some, and I'm going to. I, I know you won't have. You probably won't have this, or some of you won't. But this is what they used in the in the old days. What I like about using this instead of the immersion blender is it's gonna. Eventually, I will, I will mainly have the skin from the lentils, but we can use the immersion blender. Now. Look at that. It's like a, oops, sorry, this way. Can you see it? Hmm. It's good. Very good. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll continue all this and we'll go back to our next step. After I did it with the, with the hand uh, pure, pure, pure rain thingy, uh, I'm going to use the immersion blender on the rest of them. But I wanted to show you uh, that we can do it here just like the other lentil soup. And just be careful when you do this. Uh, probably about three minutes it should purify all of them because the lentil is really done well. And this is different than the other lentil soup, yet we're going to be adding rice in there. That's going to thicken it up a little bit. But, uh, and I'm going to also remove the, the thing on top over here, the foam. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. Right now I've uh, turned the, the stove back on under the lentils. And I am going to uh, add half a cup of rice. It's a medium-sized rice that uh, I've already washed and, and cleaned. And uh, it's important right now. This is the next step is are very important because we need to about every 30 seconds to come in here. And uh, so every it's very important, uh, you know, want to make sure that uh, the water is boiling. But. I'm not going to cover it. I'm going to leave it open. It's going to take about 20 minutes, uh, but we need for the rice to get done. But it's very important about every 30 seconds we need to come and stir it. We don't want anything to stick to the bottom and I'm going to have it on medium low. And I'm about to start also uh, sauteing some uh, onions. I'm going to have about for, for the amount that I have here, it's about a cup of onions or a medium-sized onion or a half of a large onion. I'm going to saute them 
and then add them in here. I'm going to saute them into and with uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. Now that we have our lentils and rice uh, slowly cooking over there, we're keeping an eye on them. Remember, every 30 seconds or so, you do need to stir them. And what I have here is uh, I've warmed up my saute pan, and I'm going to add uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. And I've already uh, uh, thinly chopped the onions. Uh, again, as I mentioned, it's about a cup of onion for the two cups of lentil soup and or uh, a medium sized onion or half of a large onion. So I'm giving you all these different options so you don't, you, you think, oh, well, how much would that and how much is that? And again, <laughs> You know, it's, it, it's not like a precise uh, science. What we need to do here is just we're trying to get as close as possible. Uh, what we're doing here is we're not frying them. We want to them to become translucent in the sautéing. So probably about uh, three and a half to four minutes, depending on your uh, stove and uh, you know what kind of pan you're using here there we go all right okay and now that uh, our lentils and rice have, have been here for another uh, 20 minutes you see how the onions are uh, it's translucent and uh, I, we didn't like fry them to brown them we just want them to stay in this translucent clear color and as I mentioned, it was about literally three and a half to four minutes. I mean, I didn't like exactly time it, but this is what uh, all we needed. We just keep an eye on them. And in the meantime, every 30 seconds, I was stirring the pot here, uh, literally. Uh, and now we're going to add our two, <clears throat> two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of cumin. And I'm going to leave them uh, for about five minutes over here. Here, I put already the salt. Here's the rest of the cumin. And uh, if you find that the cumin like wanted to stay on top or something like that, go like this with it. Take a little bit of it and go like this so it won't uh, stay as a bunch. And then after the five minutes, I'm going to put in uh, a half a cup of parsley, chopped, finely chopped parsley in here and leave it for another five minutes. And I'm also going to be toasting some pita bread. You have to eat it with the pita bread. You can't just eat it like soup like this. I would say more than 100% of the time, when I ate it back in Lebanon, it was with pita bread that's toasted in the oven. Uh, back then, we didn't have air fryer. We used the oven, or they actually used to use the stovetop. They'll put it on it and, and, and toast it that way. Okay, I'll continue. We'll come back when I add the parsley. In there. Don't forget to keep stirring. Now that our salt and cumin were there for five minutes, we're going to add our parsley and let them simmer in there for another uh, five minutes. Let's stir them a little here and we'll be back in five. Let's begin tasting here. I have some uh, slices of fresh lemon and I have the toasted uh, pita bread. Uh, let's squeeze some of that juicy fresh lemon here yum 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 now i'm adding some of the toasted pita bread to our yummy soup and uh, then i'll mix it up to get the those pieces of bread emerge in those beautiful flavors Let me start tasting here. This is looking very, very good. Mm. 
Mm, yum. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. This is amazing. Oh, it's so good. The cumin, the, the, the flavor, the lemon juice that's added in there, the little pita bread. It's, it's wonderful. I uh, just want to let everybody know I've had four spoons already, two in Arabic, two in English. So I'm sure I'll be into a lot of trouble since the camera crew hasn't tried any. But please don't forget to subscribe and, you know, click the bell button so you get notified when I'm posting new videos. And uh, push the like button. Let me know any recipes you'd like me to, to make for you. And until next time, bye-bye.